Hello students, how are you all? I hope that you all are good and uh, the series of basic mathematics used in physics is going on and we are uh, successfully completed two lectures. In a first lecture that we are discussing uh, about uh, trigonometric formulas, completely this uh, lecture is about uh, trigonometrical functions, ratios and everything. And in a second lecture, we are discussing about uh, geometric progression, arithmetic progression and uh, quadratic equation and uh, logarithmetic formulas and uh, the series is going on and this is a third lecture of uh, basic mathematics used in physics in this session we are going to discuss about a uh, coordinate geometry okay so my name is rakesh kanganti welcome to our beautiful physics channel rakesh sir physics okay right basic mathematics used in physics this is what class number three okay right so what is the topic today coordinate geometry right in this first we are going to find the position of a point p in a given plane so to find the position of a point p in a given plane we must require two coordinates how many coordinates we require two coordinates have a look to find the position of a point p in a plane we require two coordinates how many coordinates two coordinates okay so i am taking a two dimensional coordinate system okay so this is what x axis and this is what y axis what is this it is a two dimensional coordinate system in this two dimensional coordinate system there is a point p is at this position the point p is placed at this position right so this point is called a origin what is origin what is origin the origin is a fixed point and uh, all measurements are taken from that point. So what is that origin? The origin is a fixed point origin is what it is a fixed point and all measurements are taken from that point so whatever the measurements that we are taken in a two dimensional coordinate system or three dimensional coordinate system or one dimensional coordinate system whatever it is all measurements are taken from the origin go right let us consider this point p is at a distance x from the x axis from the x axis this point p is at a what distance x distance okay this point p is at a distance x from the origin along x axis and uh, if this is x then this is also x is it clear and this point p is at a distance y from the origin along y axis have a look this point p is at a distance y from the origin along y axis if this is y then this is also y now the position of this point p is given by x comma y what is the position of a point p is now it is at a distance x from the x axis and now y from the y axis okay so what is origin origin is a fixed point and all measurements taken from that point see 
this x is measured from origin and this y is also measured from origin okay what is the position of the point p the position of the point p is what x comma y that means to find the position of your point p in a given plane we must require two coordinates how many coordinates we got see x comma y along x axis and along y axis we got two coordinates is it clear write down right so the next concept is uh, we are going to discuss about a slope what is that slope and the slope is denoted by small m denoted by the letter small m here i'm taking a two dimensional coordinate system i'm taking two dimensional coordinate system and we know that this is called a origin and the line which is passing through an origin horizontally is called what x axis and this is what y axis x axis and the y axis to find the slope we required a two points which lying in a plane right now i am going to find the slope of a given two points in a plane so here i have a two points let us say this is a point a and a, this is a point b these two are lying in a two dimensional coordinate system now this point a is at a x1 distance on the x axis okay this point a is at a distance x1 from the origin on x axis if this is x1 then this is also x1 right okay right from the from the origin this point a is lying at a distance y1 on the y axis on the y axis from the origin this point is lying at a distance y1 so now if this is y1 then opposite side is also y1 then the coordinates of this point a is what x1 comma y1 coordinates of point a is what x1 comma y1 is it clear next this point b is at a distance x2 from the origin on x axis and y2 distance from the origin on y axis okay so along x direction what is the distance x2 and along y direction distance is y2 okay what are the coordinates or what is the position of the point b x2 comma y2 is it clear right now the slope is defined as the line which joins the line which joins the two points in a given plane is called a slope the line which joins the two points sorry the line which joins the two points in a given plane is called a slope right so i'm drawing the line which joins the two points a and b okay now that line is called what slope this line represents what slope where from figure the line ab shows what slope ab shows what slope and formula of slope formula of slope so the formula of slope is given by small m is equal to change in y divided by change in x change in y divided by change in x what is change in y what is change in x have a look and this drawing the positive x axis and uh, extending this uh, positive x axis like this and the uh, y axis like this now from the diagram it is clear that a right angle triangle is formed which triangle is formed right angle triangle is 
on this is what 90 degrees now this is the ab line and we are call it as slope how much change comes in y and x we have to find okay in delta y tends to change in y and r delta x tends to change in x change in x so what is change in x what is change in y we have to find from this right angle triangle we can get change in x and a change in y so from this right angle triangle if you observe carefully let us take a, this point as a c okay so from this right angle triangle a and b and c this point b is at a distance y2 and a, this a point is at a distance y1 this point is at a distance y1 then what is the length of the one side of the right angle triangle now this is y2 and this is y1 then the side bc is equals to how much have a look let us consider y2 is equals to 10 centimeters and the y1 is equals to 3 centimeters okay this is 3 centimeters and this is 10 centimeters what is the remaining side we can make 10 minus 3 is equals to 7 okay 10 minus 3 remaining length is how much 7 centimeters likewise from here to here is y2 and from here to here is y1 so what is the change in this side y2 minus y1 now this y2 minus y1 is called a change in y are you getting same as from here to here the length is x2 from here to here the length is x1 this is x2 and this is x1 what is the remaining length of a AC, what is the remaining length of the side AC in a right angle triangle? X2 minus X1. This one minus this one gives this length. Now X2 minus X1 is called a change in length delta X. Therefore, the formula of slope M is equal to change in Y by change in X which is equal to Y2 minus Y1 by x2 minus x1 so this is the formula of slope are you getting all right the next concept is slope in terms of tan theta slope in terms of tan theta so important concept okay so what is the formula of slope slope is equals to change in y by change in x change in y by change in x here we are uh, got one right angle triangle there is formed a right angle triangle right so what is this a b c this is what delta y and this is delta x what is the formula for slope delta y by delta x let us consider this is an angle theta let us consider this is an angle theta so there is a condition to take theta we have a condition to take theta so the condition is theta must be taken from positive x axis in anti clockwise direction theta must be taken from positive x axis in anti clockwise direction have a look if this is a this is a positive x direction and a, this is also represents the positive x direction right positive x axis positive x direction and theta must be taken from positive x axis theta must be taken from positive x axis in which direction anti clockwise direction in anti clockwise direction we have to take theta from positive x axis have a look this is positive x axis and we are taken an angle theta in 
anti clockwise direction now so same thing i am represented here slope is what delta y by delta x if this is 90 degrees the side which is opposite to 90 degrees is called hypotenuse the side which is opposite to an angle theta is called what opposite side and towards an angle theta is called what adjacent side now from this right angle triangle delta y by delta x opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but what tan theta therefore slope m is equals to tan theta is equals to opposite side by adjacent side is equals to delta y by delta x are you getting is it clear so now what is tan theta tan theta is nothing but slope what is that delta y by delta x is it clear so tan theta is equals to opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but what from this diagram change in y by change in x is it clear any doubts right now we have to check whether the slope is negative whether the slope is positive and whether the slope is zero and all these things we have to check for that in a first class basic mathematics used in physics 01 class number one i said that the fixed values of our trigonometric functions the fixed values of trigonometric function in that we are discussed angle tan theta here zero degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees 120 degrees 135 degrees 150 degrees and 180 degrees from this tan 0 0 tan 30 1 by root 3 tan 45 1 tan 60 root 3 tan 90 infinite tan 120 minus root 3 tan 135 minus 1 tan 150 minus 1 by root 3 tan 180 0 so these are the values of tan theta right sir what is the relation between uh, fixed angles of tan theta and a slope sir you may get doubt right i will explain okay so have a look tan theta up to 90 degrees tan theta is positive see 0 1 by 3 1 root 3 infinite tan theta is positive after 90 degrees that means 91 92 93 up to 180 degrees see 120 minus root 3 minus 1 minus 1 by root 3 see that means tan theta is positive up to 90 degrees and uh, negative up to 180 degrees after 90 to 180 it is negative and uh, less than 90 degrees it is positive right so note if theta is less than 90 degrees if theta is less than 90 degrees tan theta is positive tan theta is what positive okay if tan theta is positive then the slope is also positive tan theta positive then the slope is also positive so what is slope change in y by change in x which is equals to tan theta if tan theta is positive then the slope is equals to positive have a look if this is positive if you get a theta is equals to 30 degrees what is 30 1 by root 3 then the slope is positive is it clear right note if theta is greater than 90 degrees if theta is greater than 90 degrees theta is greater than 90 degrees then tan theta becomes negative tan theta becomes negative if tan theta is negative then the slope is negative then the slope is what negative if you take a theta is equals to 120 degrees then you will get the value of tan theta is root 3 then the slope is equals to negative 
whatever the slope we got that is negative is it clear note number 3 are you able to see the board note number 3 okay note number 3 if theta is equals to 0 degrees theta is equals to 0 degrees or 180 degrees theta is equals to 0 degrees or theta is equals to 180 degrees then tan theta is equals to 0 see at uh, an angle 0 degrees an angle 180 degrees slope is equal the tan theta value is how much zero if tan theta becomes zero then slope is equals to zero then slope is equals to slope tends to zero is it clear okay so now you get the clarity where the slope is negative where the slope is positive and where the slope is zero and how to consider the theta from positive x-axis we have to take an angle theta in anti clockwise direction. It is clear. Have a look. In this uh, given slope, whatever the slope made by AB points, is that slope is positive or negative? Let us say. Right. Whatever the slope made by this diagram, that means AB points. Now, this slope is positive or negative? Now, can you say what is the slope made by these two points A and B is positive or negative? Say once. Negative. Is it negative slope or positive slope? Positive slope. Negative slope. It is a positive slope. Which slope it is? It is a positive slope. That means how we can say positive slope? When theta is less than 90 degrees, then we say that that slope is a positive slope from this diagram so this is a positive x axis this is what positive x axis and we are taken an angle theta in anti clockwise direction from this positive x axis right from positive x axis we are taken theta in anti clockwise direction now we have to check whether it is less than 90 degrees or greater than 90 degrees for that i am extending this uh, y axis i am extending this y axis in the diagram so i am extended this y axis now the angle between y and x axis is how much 90 degrees this is what these two lines are perpendicular to each other but whatever the angle here we are taken which is less than 90 degrees see this complete angle is 90 degrees but theta is from here to here only that means theta is less than 90 degrees then this slope is positive is it clear any doubts i will explain so how to take a negative slope how to take a positive slope i will explain in a examples is it clear write the notes three two one go right dear students one small correction when theta is equals to zero or 180 degrees and tan theta is 0 right and what is slope change in y by change in x we can also written as tan theta is equals to slope is equals to delta y by delta x this is the formula when now uh, at a theta is equals to 0 and 180 degrees tan theta tends to 0 then slope is constant then the slope is constant when theta tends to 0 then the value of tan theta becomes 0 then the slope tan theta is equals to slope is equals to what delta y by delta x then slope is constant positive slope and the negative slope after seeing the graph only we can say that this is a positive slope and this is a negative slope or there is no slope just a like this you will say the answer whether it is a positive or negative slope take a look so what is the formula of slope we got slope is equals to tan theta is equals to change in y by change in x that is what y2 minus y1 by 
x2 minus x1 right okay okay if theta is less than 90 tan theta is positive slope is positive okay if theta is less greater than 90 degrees the tan theta is negative then the slope is also negative right if theta is equals to 0 or 180 degrees then tan theta tends to 0 then the slope is also 0 is it clear right for example a slope is like this for example a slope is like this as shown in a figure now how can we say whether the slope is positive or negative just take a positive x-axis draw one horizontal line which represents positive x-axis what we have to do take an angle in anti-clockwise direction from positive x-axis right from positive x-axis just draw the an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction now we have to check whether this angle is less than greater than or equals to 0 90 it is greater than 90 or less than 90 or equals to 0 we have to check so it is clear that this is, this is not equals to 0 that means there is some slope is exist so to say it is less than or greater than 90 degrees draw the vertical line from this point so wherever you draw the positive x-axis from that point just draw the vertical line now it represents two dimensional coordinate system only right so now the angle between x and y axis is how much 90 degrees right so this is what 90 degrees right angle triangle see from this point to this point total it is 90 degrees just from here to here only an angle theta is there right then theta is less than 90 degrees then this slope is positive slope is what positive is it clear right so i'm taking a one more line like this okay now the slope is like this the slope is like this now let us say this is first one and this is second so what we have to do draw the positive x-axis on any point on the slope next take an angle theta from the positive x-axis in anti-clockwise direction see in anti-clockwise direction we draw an angle theta so from this point from this point draw one vertical line it gives what y-axis now the angle between x and y axis are how much 90 degrees so from here to here only 90 degrees and uh, theta is greater than 90 degrees here theta is more than 90 degrees right theta is greater than 90 degrees then the slope is negative then the slope is what negative is it clear right third one if the slope is like this if the slope is like this this is what x-axis positive x-axis and this is what y-axis this is also positive x-axis and this is positive y-axis if the slope is like this the slope is like this then what we have to do we have to draw the positive x-axis on any point on the we have to draw the positive x-axis on any point on the slope so from this point i wanted to draw the positive x-axis so this is what positive x-axis now this line and this positive x-axis angle between them in a and draw in anti-clockwise direction so in anti-clockwise direction what is an angle theta 180 degrees then slope is what zero slope is what zero is it clear is it clear is it clear if the steps are like this there is the steps 
and the steps are like this now you are at this position okay your aim is you have to reach the point a point b and the point c your aim is what from the ground you have to reach point a b and the c now when you are moving from ground to point a you have to feel that right when you are moving from ground to point a e e e you have to do more hard work you feel that you are spending more energy why because the slope will be increases the slope will be increases from 0 to 100 let us consider the steps are 100 so from 0 to 100 you feel that very hard to to move on the steps okay it is very tough why because the slope is more that means slope is increases if any line in a graphs you will get like this that means slope is increases and the slope is positive and the slope is what positive okay from point a to b just you walk normally la 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 that means where the slope is equals to how much zero here the slope is how much zero slope is zero from b to c from b to c you can move very fastly you can move very fastly because the slope is decreasing see here 100 steps are there from 100 to 0 again ground up you can move slowly then the slope is decreasing then it is negative slope is negative here slope is increasing here slope is increasing here slope is 0 means the slope is constant the slope is constant slope is 0 means slope is constant slope is what constant here slope is negative that means slope is decreasing is it clear if any line is like this slope is increasing if any line is like this flat line the slope is constant or slope is constant not zero slope is constant if any line is like this then the slope is decreasing then the slope is decreasing okay right is it clear any doubts shall we do one problem okay right one example problem the example is a is equals to 2 comma 3 and uh, b is equals to 3 comma 4 a is equals to what? 2 comma 3 and b is equals to 3 comma 4 find the slope m and uh, angle theta okay a is equals to 2 comma 3 and b is equals to 3 comma 4 and what we have to find slope m and angle theta is it is this clear right try the problem once try the problem three two one have a look i'm going to solve the problem so what is the point a given two comma three what is the point b given three comma four so this is what x1 y1 x2 sorry this is what x2 and this is y2 slope m is equals to what is the formula change in y by change in x change in y means y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 then slope m is equals to y2 means 4 minus y1 3 divided by x2 3 x1 minus 2 is this clear y2 means 4 minus y1 means 3 divided by x2 means 3 minus x1 means 2 4 minus 3 1 3 minus 2 1 so m is equals to we got 1 slope is equals to 1 and we have another formula in terms of theta slope m is equals to what tan theta right so what the slope we got tan theta is equals to 1 then theta is equals to what okay we can write like this so tan theta is equals to 1 here we got 
वन इज नथिंग बट वॉट टेन फोर्टी फाइव टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच वन देन टेन टेन गेट कैंसल आउट एंड टीटा इज इक्वल टू वी गॉट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टीटा इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड स्लोप इज इक्वल टू वॉट वन इज इट क्लियर एनी डाउट कैन वी डू द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम राइट सो ए इज इक्वल टू दे आर गिवेन वैल्यूज फोर कामा थ्री and b is equals to 3 comma 4 a is equals to 4 comma 3 and b is equals to 3 comma 4 so find the theta and the slope they are asking to find the the slope and and, and an angle theta right solution a is equals to 4 comma 3 b is equals to 3 comma 4 x1 y1 x2 y2 slope is equals to do first y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y2 is 4 minus y1 is 3 divided by x2 is 3 minus x1 is 4 4 minus 3 1 3 minus 4 minus 1 3 minus 4 is how much minus 1 so slope is equals to we got how much minus 1 then angle theta tan theta is equals to slope m so tan theta is equals to what minus 1 are you getting tan theta is equals to tan of 135 what is the value of tan of 135 minus 1 so tan tan get cancel out theta is equals to 135 degrees okay so here in this example theta is less than 90 degrees then the slope is positive then the slope is positive in this example theta is equals to 135 degrees then theta is greater than 90 degrees then the slope is negative here the slope is positive and here the slope is negative is it clear is it clear right the next concept that we are going to discuss about the distance between the two points in a given plane right the distance between two points in a given plane okay so i'm taking a two dimensional coordinate system this is x axis and this is y axis this is origin o okay so in this two dimensional coordinate system i have a two points let us say this is point a here is a point a and a, here is a point b okay so along x axis this point is at a x1 distance and the point b is at a x2 distance along y axis this point p is at a distance of y1 and the, this point b is at a distance y2 okay what is slope the line which joins the two points the line which joins the two points is called a slope okay so the coordinates of this point a is what x1 comma y1 okay so the coordinates of this point b is what x2 comma y2 because this is y2 okay now the distance between these two points a and b is given by the distance between a and b is given by is given by d is equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this formula gives the distance between the two points in a given plane is it clear right let us see one example 
example. So A is equals to minus 3 comma 2 and B is equals to minus 2 comma 3. Find the, the distance between two points. Find the distance between two points. Solution. So given points are what? A is equals to minus 3 comma 2 and the B is equals to minus 2 comma 3. Okay. So minus 3 is x1, 2 is y1, x2, y2. Okay. So what is the distance formula? Distance between the two points D is equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is the formula to find the distance between two points. So that is equals to under root of x2 minus x1. x2 value is how much? Minus 2 minus x1. x1 value is how much? Minus 3 whole square plus y2 3 minus y1. y1 value is how much? 2 whole square. So distance d is equals to under root of c minus 2 minus of minus 3 minus into minus plus minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 means 1 square plus 3 minus 2 1 1 square 1 square plus 1 square 2 square 2 square 1 square means 1 plus 1 square means 1 1 plus 1 2 so we got our distance between the two points is equals to how much root 2 is it clear right in abo in abo problem find the slope and the an angle theta whether slope is positive or negative whether or where where spelling is what w h e r where the slope is positive or negative you have to find so what is the slope formula slope is nothing but slope is equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 what is y2 3 minus what is y1 2 divided by x2 what is x2 minus 2 minus x1 what is x1 minus 3 right so 3 minus 2 1 minus into minus plus 3 minus 2 1 so we got slope is equals to 1 slope is equals to how much 1 then tan theta is equals to slope tan theta is equals to slope so that is tan theta is equals to how much 1 where we get tan theta 1 theta is equals to 45 degrees so tan theta is equals to tan 45 so tan tan get cancelled out theta is equals to how much 45 degrees theta is equals to how much 45 degrees and theta is less than where theta is less than 90 degrees then the slope is positive then the slope is what positive is it clear any doubts pause the video and write the notes so the next concept is to find position of point p in a space to find the position of a point p in a space we require three coordinates we require three coordinates right space means three dimension okay so three dimension consisting of x axis y axis and the z axis right 
okay so here is a point p in a given space to find the position of a point p in a space how many coordinates we require three coordinates so along x direction it is at a x distance along y axis this point p is at a distance y and uh, along z direction this point p is at a z distance so the coordinates of point p are x comma y comma z x comma y comma z okay so next okay right to find the position of a point p to find the position of a point p along a straight line we require we require only one coordinate only one coordinate okay right i will give uh, some homework problems on today's session try that problems and uh, comment your answer whatever it is right or wrong whatever the concept today we are discussed it is a uh, easiest concept and uh, try the homework problems and comment your answer right find the distance between two points second one angle between two points third one slope fourth one whether slope is positive or negative so all the four things you have to find so the first problem is of a is equals to minus 3 comma minus 2 b is equals to minus 1 comma 1 second question a is equals to 3 comma 2 3 comma 6 and b is equals to 4 comma 3 c a is equals to 9 comma minus 6 b is equals to 3 comma 8 okay so these are the homework problems try the problems and comment your answer okay right okay so this is the end of the today's lecture and we will meet in a lecture number four basic mathematics used in physics class number four the series is going on so practice all these problems and try this homework problems and comment your answer i hope that you are enjoyed this lecture stay tuned this is rakesh kanganti signing off Jai Hind.